has this. This. Or this. What? Happened to you before? Well, if it did, what if you can clean them up easily like this? As you know, Roborock is famous for robot vacuums, but let's be honest here, sometimes a good manual cleaning works best and for most people, myself included, would be extra satisfied since you are actually doing the cleaning yourself. Now this is the new Roborock Diet Pro and it is a successor to last year's diet and it comes with super handy improvements making it a real pro. So it comes in two parts, which is the main vacuum unit and the handle. Just insert the handle at the top of the main unit until you hear a click to know that it has been locked in place. Then the handle comes with three buttons, which are for on and off, the mode selector to auto, max, floor drying mode and eco mode. Then there's also the self or auto cleaning button, where if you press it once, it goes to the standard mode and pressing it and holding it about two seconds goes into the deep cleaning mode. Then the top portion of the unit's body is the clean water tank that holds 900 ml of water and at the bottom is the dirty water tank that has a capacity of 770 ml. And I have to say that I really love how premium it feels when taking both of these two water tanks out as some other wet or dry vacuums can be sort of a cheap feeling when taking it out especially when you're putting them back in where this had a very satisfying click to it when putting them back to give that sort of a premium feeling. Now, if we take a look inside of the dirty water tank, it has this weirdly sexy looking mesh filter. And no, calling a filter sexy is not weird. You are weird. <coughs> Let's move on. So why the complex design? Well, there's a use for this particular mesh, which I'll show you all later in this video. Then there's also the HEPA filter to trap those tiny particles of dust and debris. Now looking down at the head unit, you can see there's a small tank for the soap auto dispenser. And yes, there's an actual place to put soap for that extra cleaning power. So thank you for that Roborock. Underneath, it comes with two smaller rollers towards the top and one big roller for a super clean finish for your floors. And it's overall bigger and fatter, like me now, <laughs> than the previous generation. So with this narrow edge to edge rollers, it can get up to 1mm close to the edge. So there's surely no more messing around going back and forth too many times especially when it comes to cleaning the edge of the walls which is usually the case with other similar type of vacuums. Then the base itself is for charging and self-cleaning that actually comes in two parts. Now why the split? Well I'll get back into that on the how to clean portion of this video so stick around once again. Now based on my daily usage, cleaning on the Diet Pro is a super relaxing affair. Now as mentioned, it is used to eliminate both dry and wet dirt. So whether or not you want to clean some wet pasta spilled on the ground, dirt, liquid or cereal, it can clean all of them for you. Now what's extra sweet is that in the box itself, other than knowing what's inside of the box, there's a quick start guide on how to set up the vacuum cleaner and there's lots of stickers all around the unit too and on the dock itself to help you with every step of the way. But all in all, it's a very easy and a straightforward way for you to set it up and of course, I will show you how. So to start cleaning, just fill in the water in a clean water tank, add a detergent if you want to. Next, you'll need to unlock the cleaning head by pulling the handle down gently but be sure to not tilt it over 60 degrees, then press the power button once and you're all good to go. And once it starts, there'll be a voice prompt to confirm that the vacuum is starting. And this voice prompt is available throughout your cleaning journey which had a nice pleasant voice compared to some super annoyingly loud ones that I've heard in other wet and dry vacuums. And you can even adjust the volume and even the languages in the Roborock app if you want to. And yes, there's an app for this and I'll dive in into the app a little later. Then to turn the vacuum off, just press and hold the power button for about 2 seconds. Now speaking of the auto detergent dispenser compartment, other than giving a super clean finish to the floor, since it is rated to have about 20 uses per fill or around 600 minutes of use with the vacuum, and with that I found that I probably need to refill this maybe once a month in my and probably in your use case as well. 
Then the vacuum is relatively quiet yet very powerful with the 17,000 PA suction power where the head can rotate up to 80 degrees to easily maneuver between tight spaces and furniture and while the unit is at 4.8 kgs which may seem and look heavy but when you actually use it the vacuum actually glides by itself super smoothly without putting the extra force to your arms thanks to the diet power hence it's not texting to your arms at all but then again not everyone has these guns <laughs> Just kidding. But if you ever get to a point where you get tired, it is great that the vacuum can actually stand on its own. Because in the past, I damaged a lot of vacuums trying to rest it against the wall where it slipped and fell and kind of cracked and even broke by itself. And even the previous version of this diet could not stand on its own. So it's nice that it can be able to stand, which may seem like it's not a big deal. But for me, that is such an underrated feature. Now that being said, let me know in the comment section below if this has happened to you and do join us at our Discord server if you'd like to know more or discuss more about this and of course, if you want to see a written version of this particular video, make sure to head on to our website at www.adamlobo.tv Now a very useful feature in this smart vacuum and mop is this indicator ring on top. It's called the Dirt Tech. And what it does is to tell you how dirty the surface that you're cleaning is. And the dirtier the surface, the more red it is. And as you clean, it will get bluer and bluer. And this is where it is such a brilliantly intelligent and nifty feature, especially if your floor is on a darker color, where it's harder to see how clean it is. And the number represented over at the screen is the battery life, another super convenient feature for you to know what the battery life is on a single glance. Now one handy tip that I can give is to use the floor drying mode which you can change it in the mode button which can be very handy for you to probably dry up your bathroom which I usually do which does get wet after typically done with a shower so that was also very handy. Now as for the battery itself, it has a capacity of 4000 milliamps that is rated about 43 minutes of use. And that's an approximate coverage of about 3,200 square feet, making the battery life more than 30% improved than the previous iteration. But then again, technically speaking, I would always put this back on the charging base after it's cleaning. So I do recommend that you do the same as the vacuum can also charge, auto clean and dry all of its rollers by itself when you place it on the dock. Yup, it dries the rollers by itself completely. So you won't get that unpleasant smell, germs or even bacteria built up, especially if you're done cleaning up a bigger mess like food or heavy grime and dirt. So this means there's no need for you to take the roller out by itself manually and then put them back to clean. And that for me, once again, is a super duper convenient and also a huge improvement on the previous variant. Then the drying portion is also customizable, where you can have it to dry silently which takes about 3 to 2 hours with a tiny bit of noise. And speaking of convenience, yet another underrated thing that I did appreciate is how the docking station had a nice cable management underneath and a little pass through for the cable on both sides to maintain a neater look for the overall docking setup. Now speaking of a nice and neat arrangement, there's also a compartment for you to put the maintenance brush which also comes inside of the box. Now while the vacuum does auto clean the roller, but at a point you'll need to empty the dirty water tank and remember this sexy gorgeous filter just a filter just a filter well when throwing away the dirty water put it through the filter to get all the nasty bigger bits of dirt and trash out of the water and this is great if you don't want to get anything clogged into your sink to kind of separate the bigger chunks of food and the dirty water and since the cleaning base at the dock can be easily detached as mentioned earlier so there's no worrying about cleaning up as there's no electronic being attached and that's the benefit of having two pieces for the dock now speaking of clogging up we are almost at the 100,000 subscribers mark so give this video a nice big thumbs up to help this video to stick out from this clogged up youtube algorithm and a subscription would be lovely too thank you so much in advance now let's get to what I feel really makes this an extra smart vacuum, which is the app. Because compared to other wet and dry vacuums out there, the app experience is the biggest differentiating factor of this Roborock Diet Pro. Now just download the Roborock app on your phone through your preferred app store and connect the vacuum through Wi-Fi and you're all set. And trust me, you'll find this app to be very user-friendly and easy to use with plenty of useful functions. Now at the home screen, it tells the battery life and you can change the vacuum modes change the suction force, water level, and roller speed as well. Then below, there's two different self-cleaning modes between balance or deep. And similar to the physical button function, you can find both the silent and the fast drying options over there as well. 
But more importantly, you can schedule the vacuum to auto clean and regularly dry at any time that you want. So for me, I don't have to remember to always do it myself. Now, if you're a sensitive sleeper like me, you can do what I do, which is to schedule it when I'm usually out of the house, so it'll always be clean and ready to use whenever I'm back at home. And of course, there are many other advanced features that you can do over in the app as well. And I absolutely love how you can check whether it's time to get a new filter or a new roller or top up your detergent under the maintenance option. So, what is my verdict? Well, it is a fantastic product that is probably on the heavier than usual price tag at 2,399 ringgit. But that being said, the product does come from an established brand and has one year warranty. And on top of that, it was the best selling brand of vacuum cleaners in Malaysia for the month of March. Further confirms the credibility of the brand. And don't forget to follow Roborock Malaysia's official online stores like on Shopee to get the updated latest pricing and deals because thanks to its shocking sale, you can see it go even lower to only about 2,199 ringgit. So all of the links will be in the description below. Because guys, in all honesty, it does what it is supposed to do with its great cleaning capabilities, smart connectivity features, and it does push above is asking price and is surely one of the best or if not the best wet and dry vacuum for this year as of now and definitely worth the investment.